Donald Trump is like an old boyfriend who you broke up with, but he just won't go away. Because we know that Donald Trump would sell this country for a dollar if it meant lining his own pockets and greasing the palms of his Wall Street friends. He would probably sell it for some toilet paper because from those those evidence photos we saw at Mar-a-Lago, I, I ain't seen them. Hi, welcome to Street Politics. My name is Reese Waters. Now, a lot of you guys probably know that uh, I am here in our nation's capital. I was born in Washington, D.C. and grew up in Prince George's County, Maryland. And I have a ton of pride in both but there are a lot of places that are near and dear to my heart. My, my father is from North Carolina. My mother is from South Carolina. Uh, my wife is from Ohio. We go to all three of those all the time. The Bay Area is like my, my favorite place on the planet. I love Canada. Favorite place to do comedy, Seattle and Indianapolis. There are a ton of places that are near and dear to my heart. However, I have spent most of my adult life in New York City. I went to college in New York City. I came of age in New York City. So there is something that happens inside me when a New Yorker starts talking that talk. Now I was here minding my own black business. And I'm here to do my black job. And House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries came on and gave me all the warm and fuzzies. He was talking that talk. It's time to go to New York, y'all. It's a high honor and a distinct privilege as a Brooklynite, New Yorker, and as an American. Yeah. Now the road ahead will not be easy, which brings me so you know who. Donald Trump is like an old boyfriend who you broke up with, but he just won't go away. He has spent the last four years spinning the block, trying to get back into a relationship with the American people. Bro, we broke up with you for a reason. <laughs> that is a perfect analogy and also a very relatable one. I've been, I've actually been on all sides of that. Apparently so has the girl who they pan to. Particularly savage timing there. Bro, we broke up with you for a reason. <laughs> Trump was the mastermind of the GOP tax scam, where 83% of the benefits went to the wealthiest 1% in America. Trump failed our country during the COVID-19 pandemic. Trump is a chaos agent who is focused on himself, not the American people. Trump tried to destroy our democracy by lying about the election and inciting a violent mob to attack the Capitol. Trump put three extreme justices on the Supreme Court who destroyed Roe v. Wade. We broke up with you for a reason. Donald Trump can spin the block all he wants, but there's no reason for us to ever get back together. Been there, done that, we're not going back. He cooking, he cooking. Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris and House Democrats will always put people over politics. Kamala Harris and House Democrats will lower costs and grow the middle class. Kamala Harris and House Democrats will fix our broken immigration system and secure the border. Kamala Harris and House Democrats will strengthen the relationship between the police and the community. Kamala Harris and House Democrats will continue to combat the climate crisis with the fierce urgency of now. Kamala Harris 
and House Democrats will protect Social Security, protect Medicare, protect Medicaid, protect the Affordable Care Act, protect working families, protect small businesses, protect the middle class, protect free enterprise, protect our children, protect our seniors, protect our veterans, protect our unions, protect our dreamers, and always protect a woman's freedom to make her own reproductive health care decisions. The extreme MAGA Republicans want to divide us. But the Constitution promises equal protection under the law. We are one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Together, 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 let's build a brighter future for our children and our grandchildren. In the Old Testament, Book of Psalms, the scripture tells us that weeping may endure during the long night, but joy will come in the morning. Now, Hakeem Jeffries, now you stunting. Come on, you know Maggie don't know no scripture. They don't know no scripture. I bet that ain't even in the Trump Bibles. Here's how we do it. Strategize on Sunday. Meet the moment on Monday. Take it to them on Tuesday. Work it out on Wednesday. Thank the Lord on Thursday. Fight the power on Friday. Set it off on Saturday. Get a few hours of sleep. Wake up the next day and do it all over again until joy, joy, joy comes in the morning. Somebody sign that man. Somebody sign that man. Now there's only 76 days left. There are only 76 days left. We must continue to speak up. We must continue to show up. We must continue to stand up, not as Democrats or Republicans, but as Americans. And when we do, nothing can stop Kamala Harris from becoming the 47th president of the United States of America. Nothing can stop House Democrats from taking back the majority. Nothing can stop the American people from continuing our march toward a more perfect union. Nothing can stop us. We're all the way up. God bless you. God bless Kamala Harris. May God bless the United States of America. Um, quick question. When politicians start quoting my era of music, does that make me old? Hmm. Does that make me, I'm, I'm just thinking about the politicians that I grew up with. If they was quoting music that I was actively listening to, I would go ahead and just buy a walker right now or one of them chairs for the shower. What I also appreciated about Hakeem Jeffries is he gave me a reason to spin the block on AOC's phenomenal speech from earlier in the convention. Talk that talk, AOC! Thank you, Chicago, for your energy. Thank you, Kamala Harris and Tim Walls, for your vision. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chicago, for your energy. Thank you, Kamala Harris and Tim Walls, for your vision. And thank you, Joe Biden, for your leadership. You know, six years ago, I was taking omelet orders as a waitress in New York City. Yeah. 
I didn't have health insurance. My family was fighting off foreclosure, and we were struggling with bills after my dad passed away unexpectedly from cancer. Like millions of Americans, we were just looking for an honest shake, and we were tired of a cynical politics that seemed blind to the realities of working people. It was then, only through the miracles of democracy and community, that the good people of the Bronx and Queens chose someone like me to elect them in Congress. And America, in my heart, I know from that same cloth of hope and aspiration, we will also elect Kamala Harris and Tim Walls as presidents and vice presidents of the United States of America. I am here tonight because America has before us a rare and precious opportunity. In Kamala Harris, we have a chance to elect a president who is for the middle class because she is from the middle class. Wow, that is a, uh, that is a, that is a novel concept. Uh, imagine, imagine that, a person from your class having an identification with those struggles. That's crazy. She understands the urgency of rent checks and groceries and prescriptions. She is as committed to our reproductive and civil rights as she is to taking on corporate greed. And she is working tirelessly to secure a ceasefire in Gaza and bringing hostages home. No doubt something that had to be brought up and something that is front and center uh, in her mind and probably something that they had to have a lot of conversations about when they were deciding who they were going to get behind and who was going to speak and what exactly they were going to say. Touche. In Kamala Harris, I see a leader who understands. I see a leader with a real commitment to a better future for working families. And Chicago, we have to help her win. Because we know that Donald Trump would sell this country for a dollar if it meant lining his own pockets and greasing the palms of his Wall Street friends. He would probably sell it for some toilet paper, because from those those evidence photos we saw at Mar-a-Lago, I, I ain't seen them. No, it, it was nothing but boxes in there. And I, for one, am tired about, of hearing about how a two-bit union buster thinks of himself as more of a patriot than the woman who fights every single day to lift working people out from under the boots of greed trampling on our way of life. One more time for those in the back. And I, for one, am tired about, of hearing about how a two-bit union buster thinks of himself as more of a patriot than the woman who fights every single day to lift working people out from under the boots of greed trampling on our way of life. One more time for those in the bathroom. Waiting on toilet paper. And I, for one, am tired about, of hearing about how a two-bit union buster thinks of himself as more of a patriot than the woman who fights every single day to lift working people out from under the boots of greed trampling on our way of life. The truth is, Don, you cannot... Somebody help Jesse. Did somebody, did somebody get, Je somebody get Jesse? Y'all, y'all left him there? Is he still there? This done. You cannot love this country if you only fight for the wealthy and big business. To love this country is to fight 
for its people, all people, working people, everyday Americans like bartenders and factory workers and fast food cashiers who punch a clock and are on their feet all day in some of the toughest jobs out there. You know, ever since I got elected, Republicans have attacked me by saying that I should go back to bartending. But let me tell you, I'm happy to any day of the week because there is nothing wrong with working for a living. You gotta love the elitism that emanates from a party that loves to accuse the other party of being elitist. I mean, the fact that this doesn't occur to these red hats, I, I believe former Trump White House press secretary Stephanie Grisham addressed this directly. I spent Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's all at Mar-a-Lago. I saw him when the cameras were off. Behind closed doors, Trump mocks his supporters. He calls them basement dwellers. But of course, you know better. You got a Trump Bible. Imagine, imagine having leaders in the White House who understand that. Leaders like Kamala and Tim. But Chicago, just because the choice is clear to us does not mean that the path will be easy. Over the next 78 days, we will have to pour every ounce, every minute, every moment into making history on November 5th. But we cannot send Kamala and Tim to the White House alone. Together, we must also elect strong Democratic majorities in the House and in the Senate so that we can deliver on an ambitious agenda for the people. Something I have not heard a lot of people address during the course of this week are the down-ballot elections. Very well said, AOC. Because if you are a working parent trying to afford rent and child care, Kamala is for you. If you are a senior who had to go back to work because your retirement didn't stretch far enough, Kamala is for you. If you're an immigrant family just starting your American story, Kamala is for you. America. When we knock on our neighbor's door, organize our communities, and elect Kamala Harris to the presidency on November 5th, we will send a loud message that the people of this nation will not go back. We choose a new path and open the door to a new day, one that is for the people and by the people. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless. God bless you all. Phenomenal. It hit all of the right notes and it checked all the boxes to making me feel whole again. I feel like I got my New York fix. Like I just ate uh, two chopped cheeses like back to back. That was that was beautiful. And it really gives me so much confidence moving forward in the future of this party. From Hakeem Jeffries to AOC to Jasmine Crockett to Wes Moore to Pete Buttigieg. They said it off. We ready. Sincere thanks to everybody who's reached out to me and submitted suggestions for videos. Keep them coming. Uh, I take submissions for ideas for a video, suggestions for races of the week. If you have something that just troubles you or you just want to send me a note because I love 
getting those notes. Go ahead and shoot me an email at reese at reesewaters.com. I also have a newsletter that I send out periodically, so you'll be receiving that as well. You can also sign up on my website, reesewaters.com. Mm-hmm.